Hey, how are you? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to A couple of weeks ago, we did Blessed San Vitores. A week ago, we did the Proa. Tonight, we're going to talk about the streets of Guam, Chalan Guam, from Isabella Catolica Street in San Nicolas District, all the way to Ibirada, Gestan Marian Dak. I think you'll like it. When the Americans took over Guam at the turn of the century, they retained the Spanish and Chamorro names of the streets in Agania, a few of which were Calle Isabel La Católica, Calle San Juan de Latran, and Calle San Nicolás. Rather surprisingly, they also retained the name by which the residence of the governor of Guam was known, Governor's Palace, an allusion to royalty totally out of character with established American sentiment at the time. After World War II, our local leaders discarded the name Governor's Palace in favor of government house. About the same time, however, they also discarded centuries-old Spanish and Chamor names in favor of names like Aspinall, Seton, O'Brien, and Mary. It was as though we were closing the book on our historical past and starting a new one. As the population increased, the villages expanded and new roads were built to service them. New street names were needed and there was literally an avalanche of new names of streets predominantly Chamorro, most likely reflecting the revitalization of pride in our culture and legacy. On a sightseeing drive recently, I found a building covered with graffiti near a street called Chalancinetsut, or Street of Regret. And not too far from the Street of Regret was Chalanlangit, or Street to Heaven. I did not see any restrictions on who could drive on it. So, if you're ready to go, Salon Long, it may be the right road for you. Since I, myself, am not quite ready, I got off the road. Within an hour, I found a short street, Salon Canada, and a long one, Salon Anoko. I also found an upper street, Salon San Hilo, and a lower street, Salon San Papa. I got a little industrious when I found myself on Bumuchacho Street, but decided to slow down when I reached Salon Despacio. We stopped for lunch and had some deer meat, binado, which had been marinated in vinegar, binacli, which were served with plantains, chotta. After lunch, we ate some star apples, bilimbinis, bananas, aga, and watermelon, chandia. We then drove to seven blocks named after prominent folks with unusual names, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, and siete. We discovered, however, that our street signs must have legs on them because we could not find uno, dos, tres, and cuatro, and so only single, size, and siete. We drove to the next neighborhood and saw a man, Lahi, watching a woman, Palawan, plant a beautiful flower called Buganbia, Puti Tainubio. Toward the end of the day, we were startled, Mahongang, when we saw this sign spelled D-O-D-O. -D -O. In either English or Chamorro, that is a difficult word to pronounce and define, so I'll let it rest at that. We then found a street name for the bright ones, Malate Street. As you can see, however, the sign painter spelled it incorrectly as Malte instead of Malate. While this little excursion was made interesting by the names of the streets that we found, it was somewhat distressing to discover that about 25% of the streets we visited had no signs on their posts. In one neighborhood, a resident got tired of not having street signs, so he made one out of spare tire. Believe it or not, he lives on Nevermind Road. Also of interest are that there is a Baba Street, but no Maulik. There's a Bruno Street, but no Bonita. And there's a street for little people. Duendes, but none for the big ones. There was a time on Guam when instead of saying este otro viaje, este virada, or este night, we said este virada, gestan marian dak. We never did know precisely where that turn in the road was that we called virada, gestan marian dak. It was a special place, 
and it could be anywhere we wanted it to be. Maybe we should name one particular street, Biran and San Marian Dac. But on second thought, maybe we should not. Let's keep that particular barada special by leaving it alone for all time's sake. Would you believe it? As the day ended, we found ourselves watching the sunset in the west on a street called East Sunset Boulevard. Esta pau was si bem babla sadzo. Memorias. Buenas noches.